Today, I'm going to show you all the resources that Google has created to support you in your online marketing strategy. Stay tuned. These are really cool. So as part of my work, I hear a lot of complaints about Google. Um, and I say Google when I mean search engine. I mean, Google has the largest search share. When I was at Yahoo, Yahoo had a 26% search share. And we were going to take Google any minute, every, any minute. And we know how that, that worked out, right? We don't Yahoo it. We Google it. So, But Google has a tremendous amount of resources out there to help you to make good decisions around content and your website and to really understand how their properties are judging your website. So I'm going to walk you through four unique elements that Google provides that you can run your website through, you can get ideas from that will help you to be more connected with, with if Google makes the rules, then we just have to know what the rules are and how we measure up. So the first thing I want to show you, there's a website called Think with Google. And it is a Google website. It's called thinkwithgoogle.com. And they have a test on here that tests how fast the website is being seen. Remember, in some of my other videos, I talk about over 40% of search traffic is coming from mobile devices to Google. So they care very much about how fast the website pulls. So I'm going to come right here. You'll see this is a test my site. I'm going to come in here. Let's see, I'll do one of my client sites. Um, Shieldshield.com. Because remember, if, if I'm pulling up on a smartphone, it has to be responsive. It has to be mobile friendly. It has to have click indicators where you can click. Also, they even talk about thumb stops. So, right? You scroll up, you stop. If you scroll up, you stop. Like how many thumb stops is your homepage? Is it three? Is it four? Is it five? All right. So it's still thinking here. So while we're waiting for that to cook, the next one we're going to go to is the Google mobile friendly test. Ah, there we go. So we just got, just to go back prior, we, we're now Think with Google and we're on a mobile speed test. And you'll see here that they get your mobile site speed is 2.3 seconds in the United States on 4G networks. And they're saying that's average. But the nice thing is you can generate a report right here that will then give you all of the cheats to go in back and fix that to speed up the site according to Google. So you put your email address in there and they're going to send you a report Send that to your webmaster, work on that and see if you can't get the red out of that report. All right, the next one is going to be, is my site really mobile friendly? So this is the Google mobile test. So when you go in to search for it, just put Google mobile test. You'll see the link comes right up and it'll take you right to this page. So I'm going to go ahead and do my website. It takes a few minutes for it. To, it takes about a minute or so for it to run. Okay, while that's cooking, let's bump over to one of my favorite tools, which is Google Trends. Now, a lot of times it's hard to keep your ear to the ground and figure out what are people saying about specific topics. This one is amazing because I can go in with any topic and it will give me a whole new level of search information about specific keywords. So I'm going to come up here. I'm going to go, um, I'll just do SEO for right now. You can put your keyword in here. You can do all kinds of different interpretations of that keyword based on how they're seeing it. So I could do SEO and I could compare it to SEM, which is search engine marketing. All right. Now, what I want you to notice is that to see how, let me make this a little bigger. If I was going to pick between SEO, which is search engine optimization or SEM, which is search engine marketing, you could see here that the blue is a hands down winner. SEO wins over SEM every day. Now I could add another one like organic. I want to do organic traffic. Let's see how that measures up. Yeah, even smaller. Do you see that? So when you're like, you're trying to wrestle between the nuances of the same keyword phrase. So let's go back and change this here. So let's do dog gift, just for giggles, cat gift, and then animal gift. Let's see who the winner is. Interesting. So dog gift is by far um, a more search phrase than we have cat gift, and then we have animal gift. So what this is telling you is over time, that you get, so you'll see here, I can do past 12 months. You could even do 2004 to present if you want to see like the, the full category of that over time. Yeah. So you'll see here that dog gift has always won over cat and animals. You can put anything into here and it will give you some great data. You can also download it right here or share it. So let's come down here. So now we're at compare breakdown by subregion, if you want to know where people are searching for in the United States. And then we'll give you related queries as well, which is awesome. Gift cards, dog lover gift, dog Christmas gift ideas, dog Christmas gifts, and dog house. And we keep going down now. It's going to give me recommendations for cat, cat gift queries. So you can get so much good information here. And this is on Google 
trends. So let's go back. Also, you can do the trending searches. So let's just say you're tired of talking about radon. We have a radon rem remediation company we work with, and you're tired of talking about radon all the time. How do I get in here and really look and see what people are searching for? Well, you can come in here and let's just say you look at consumer energy or you look at any of these different phrases that you might want to take a look at. But these are the trending topics that are happening right there. So let's say Krispy Kreme. So Krispy Kreme's birthday. That was a huge trending item, over 100,000 searches in that one day just for Krispy Kreme itself. So we want to make sure that we're creating content based on what's currently sort of in the vibration online. Like how can I insert what I do every day into something that's uniquely happening in the moment? This is something that's very hard to do. Google Trends will really help you to stay in touch with that. And they do. Boy, this is a great tool. And you'll be able to come in here and look at all the most current things and you can then riff off of that. So let's just say that you're a travel agency. You might want to think about, well, what are we going to talk about? Well, today, a whole thing came out about the China diving Olympic and the Olympics. That might be something you might want to riff on and say, hey, if you want to go to China and get Olympic tickets, we're here to help. But here's a really cool article you might want to read. So as an expert, you're pulling people in from all these different directions and then putting them on the right path together. Okay, so that's Google Trends. Let's bump back to our Google Mobile Friendly. Okay, there we go. So my page is mobile friendly, but there's always work to be done. But this is coming from Google. So it's not some third party site that's thinking, thinks it knows how Google would see this. This is actually what Google is seeing. And then it gives you a site wide report that you can go through and have your, have your, um, your webmaster go through and fix the red in that report. So we've looked at how fast is my website pull? Is my website mobile friendly? And then we've also looked at Google Trends to keep in the know of what's happening day to day in our own businesses. And then finally, there's a website called Think with Google. And this is all the consumer all the consumer research they do, they put into this portal. You can subscribe to this portal as well. I use it to understand mobile, how people are engaging with mobile uh, search through, through their mobile devices through Google. I use it for stats. Anything I need where I want to go right to the source and grab that text or grab that data and put it into an article that I'm writing. So you can come in here and there's just so many great resources here. So they have consumer insights, everything they can gather. You can imagine they have a lot of smart people at Google that are, that are doing research, gathering intelligence, doing testing and modeling. And this is where you would get access to that. So you can see here, consumer insights is market, uh, why travel marketers should know about people searching for experiences why mobile gaming is the future of leisure time, um, three unexpected reasons baby boomers are turning to YouTube. There's a lot of really great data in here. Then they have interactive reports, uh, like the future of car buying is online. There's a whole article there that's been curated by Google and a bunch of other ones. So all you have to do is go in. Marketing resources is amazing. Under marketing resources, you have experience, monetization, organizational culture. Then we have the advertising channel as well, mobile search and YouTube. So let's go down and take a look at search. Now this whole page has been curated and generated just for people doing search. The, a really big concept right now is something called micro moments. And this is where you can just have your brand touch them ever so slightly through a bunch of different engagements. Like for some of you might use Waze. It's a, a travel a navigation service like Google Maps but they have these little icons that you can purchase on the map. So if you're Starbucks, your little logo shows right up there on the map. That would be a micro moment of branding where I see your logo there. I'm not looking for it, but the logo is right there in front of me because I'm by a Starbucks. There's a whole article in here on micro moments. I highly recommend you take a look at that. So when people ask me, why is there such a black box around search? Why doesn't everyone know what the Google algorithm is? 99% of what I talk about in my videos is known. We know that Google's looking for thought leaders. We know that they're looking for certain kinds of criteria. Yes, there's a small amount in that that may not be available to us because it's a, it's a proprietary uh, evaluation of a website. However, everything that Google puts out there is really super serving to their target audience, whether it be advertisers, whether it be people, people trying just to rank in SEO. Use these tools. So use the Google mobile test, the Google friendly test, the Google speed test and Google trends and think with Google. You will have direct access to the biggest and brightest minds at Google right at your fingertips. Hey, okay, make sure to bookmark all of those great Google sites. You're gonna to wanna to come back to them over and over again and I don't want you 
to miss out on having that benefit as you're creating your marketing strategy. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you get a notification every time I release a new findable video.